Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix black screen issue with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to press Alt plus Enter to switch to window mode. So as soon as you launch the game on your computer, uh, you press Alt plus Enter on the keyboard to switch to window mode and then check. If that does not work, you can try window, try these in launch options. So if you have the game on Steam, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game go to properties in the launch option type in dash window and then you can launch the game and then check so now you launch the game and then check still not working in that case you can remove this and if you have the game on EA app in that case click on manage click on view properties and in the advanced launch option type in dash window save it and then launch the game and then check still not working remove this save it now try the next step now this time only Steam users can run uh, type this in launch option. First, if you have the game on Steam, go to Steam, make a right click once again on the game, go to properties in the launch option, type in, type in. This is provided in the video description, paste it over here, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Then you can remove this and this time you can type in dash DX11, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, type in dash DX12 launch the game and then check still not working remove this and for e app users you can over here type in dash dx11 click on save launch the game then check if that does not work tap in dash dx12 launch save it launch the game and then check still not working remove this save it follow the next step now the next step is to enable or disable the steam overlay now for many users uh, make a right click on the game go to properties if this enable the steam overlay while in game if this is on, you can turn this off. If this is already off, you can turn it on and then check. So for this, you can go to uh, Steam settings in game and then turn on the option which is enable the Steam overlay while in game. Turn this on and then you can go to game and then go to properties and then first of all, you can turn it off, disable it, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can enable it, launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to Try starting the game with controller disconnected. So disconnect your controller and then you can launch the game. Once the game is up and running, now you can connect the controller again. Next step is to rename skate folder. All the saved settings will be lost. All the saved settings and the save game progress will be lost. You have to start everything from scratch. To rename this folder, you can go to this PC, open C drive, users, and then open your username and then open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder and over here you will see skate folder make a right click and then you can rename it if you want to first of all create a backup copy this paste it to the desktop once you have a backup created i already have a backup so once you have a backup created over here now you can rename this skate folder make a right click and then you can rename it now once you rename it now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to rename electronic arts folder uh, in roaming folder so go back open the roaming folder and if you find electronic arts over here uh, electronic arts yeah you can rename this folder you can rename or delete this folder and then try to launch the game in my case it's already renamed so let me i have this already renamed now still not working the next step is to repair update uninstall and reinstall ea anti cheat now for this go to this link the link is provided in the video description this will take you to the ea website here you can see ea javelin anti cheat installer and then you can run this exe file let it complete and now you can click on it click on yes to allow and then over here select skate scroll down here you can see skate select skate and then click on repair click on ok go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed go to the game installation folder select the game folder and then click on select folder once this is install success now you can launch the game and then check still not working this time you can select skate once again and then click on update 
and then you can check. Still not working. Select skate and then click on uninstall. Now select skate, then click on install. And once the install is done, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Select skate and then click on uninstall. Do not install. Instead, launch the game from the from here. We'll launch the game from Steam or E app and then click on yes to allow. And now it will reinstall EA anti cheat and then you can check. Let me close it for now. Now still not working. The next step is to now before you try this, you can install Visual C file. Try it and try the step 16 first. On this page, uh, you will see x86 and x64. Download both the files. Click on it. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install, click on yes to allow. Download this x64 file as well. And then run this exe file. If you see repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. And then click on yes to allow. Just ignore this error because I received the, I actually closed the game in between. Now make sure both are installed. Once both are installed, make sure this one is also installed. Once installed, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Now, still not working. The next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now, I'm using Windows security. Windows security users go to settings and then go to privacy and security. Windows security. And then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. And then click on yes to allow. Then click on add and loud app browser apps. Go to the game installation folder and then open the skate folder. Select this EA anti cheat game service launcher. Add an allowed app browser apps. Select the skate folder. Click on open. Again, add an allowed app browser apps. Go to installer EA anti cheat. Select this exe file. Now type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Go to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on Change Settings. Click on Allow another app. Click on Browse. Go to the Game Installation folder. And again, select all the exe files. This one, this one, Open Installer, e anti cheat Installer also. Add this. In my case, it is already added. Once added, click, uh, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to... Now, if you have any third-party antivirus, like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, Add all the four exe file and then relaunch the game. Next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. So if you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. If you have the game on EA app, click on manage, view properties, and then click on open folder. And over here, you can make a double click, launch the game from here. If that does not work, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK launch the game and then check still not working go to properties once again go to this tab put a check over here and select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game St still not working select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game you can even try disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and then scroll up you can make a right click on ea anti-cheat game service launcher and then click on run as administrator and then launch it. Still not working. The next step is to lock the FPS to 60 or 90 in NVIDIA control panel. So make a right click on the desktop, go to show more option, then click on NVIDIA control panel, go to manage 3D settings, click on program settings and then go to add, click on add and then you can go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file, click on open. Now select high performance NVIDIA processor scroll down and find maximum frame rate you can lock this at 60 or 90 so you can uh, turn it on and then type in 60 over here or 90 and then click on ok at the bottom right click on apply apply is important once applied now you can launch the game and then you can check still not working the next step is to turn off or turn on hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings now click on advanced graphics settings so if hardware accelerated gp screen if this is off turn it on and then la launch the game if this is already on turn it off and then check next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel hardware and sound 
power options over here you will see power saver in my case i don't have it if you see power saver select power saver launch the game you can even go for balanced or high performance but first of all try power saver and then launch the game and then check next step is to lower down monitor refresh rate to, to uh, like from 240 to 120 or 60 hertz so this is just an example if your monitor has refresh rate of 240 hertz lower it down to 120 or 60 hertz and then check next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia select your graphic card your operating system and then click on find now on this page you will see the latest graphic card that is geforce game ready driver over here click on view and then click on download now once the download is complete uh, you can run this exe file and then click on agree and continue select custom option over here click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next once the clean installation is done restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings now click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder select the game exe file and scroll down once you find the game click on the game and then select high performance you will see your graphic card if you have the game on steam this is the location set it to high performance and then you can launch the game next step is to verify or repair the game file if you have the game on steam you can make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is done launch the game if you have the game on e-app click on this manage option and then click on repair once the repair is done launch the game next step is to install visual which we have already done next step is to clear steam cache now if you have the game on steam go to steam over here click on settings go to downloads and then click on clear cache and then click on confirm and then you can let it complete and then relaunch the game still not working the next step is to un uninstall codec pack for media player so if you have any codec software install uninstall it after the uninstall restart you can be run then if you have obs running you can just close obs and then relaunch the game if you have razor tartarus disconnect key chrome or razor huntsman keyboard connected disconnect external keyboard and then relaunch the game run e app update or you can just run app recovery so type in e app in windows search box make a right click on e app and then click on open file location and over here you can see app recovery make a right click and then click on run as administrator you can even run this e app data and e app update run both the file click on yes to allow and let that update complete if there is any update uh, it will update it and then you can this may restart the e app in my case it's already up to date once done you can even run this e app updater run as administrator once that is done check if that does not work run app recovery make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then you will see clear cache option you have to click on clear cache and then check now over here you can see clear cache click on it and this will relaunch e app and then you can check still not working uh, the next step is to repair e app now for this you can go to e a website go to e a website and then click on download the app and then windows and then run this exe file do not launch the e app click on repair click on yes and let the repair complete once the repair is done it will relaunch e app and then check still not working update windows now for this you can go to windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to if you have these tools running you can uninstall daemon tool if you have it running in the task manager close it in the task manager go to device manager find daemon tools and make a right click disable it you can even uninstall daemon tool if you have rewsd application running ds4 auto hotkey razor synapse razor software corsair icu face it anti cheat right vanguard logitech if you have these application running in task manager make a right click and then you have to open task manager and if you find the, these application over here you have to just make a right click and then you have to close you can just make a this is just an example i don't have these application 
if you find this application may correctly then click on end task this is just an example so just and if you have this xvdd scsi in mini port may correctly on the start menu and then go to device manager if you find this in the list you can just make a right click and disable it in my case here you can see daemon tools are already disabled make a right click you have to you will see the disable option now if you have corsair bus in device manager disable it you can even uninstall this application close all the third party application like vlc codec wallpaper engine msi apps also end services from the task manager and then disable it in the device manager perform clean boot now for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then to consistent configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all make sure that you put a check over here first then click on disable all then hit apply click on okay you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch next step is to if you have separate crypto pro bunk cluster any kind of third party application installed which you, if you have these application installed uninstall it uh, and then restart your computer goodbye app if you have uninstall it if you have drop top rain meter application close it if you have this uh, corsair icu software you can just close it 3x support software support app close it game companion if you are running close it if you have a product from scan if you find menu.exe in task manager end the process in task manager if you have wipe port or wipe vr software running sometimes it's hidden over here just make a right click and then you can exit you can close this application and then launch the game unplug all the external devices like if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnect it disconnect extra controller connected turn off vpn close all the overlay application do not overclock set it to default close all the overclocking application like msi after burner revert you know if you have underwater you can remove the underboard and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working you can just uninstall the game now after you uninstall the game go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then you can install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive if the game is already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the black screen issue with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel